Okay, I actually had a, the opportunity to speak with a psychic advisor. This video is sponsored by California Psychics, and they gave me the opportunity to speak with a specialized psychic advisor. I actually wanted to choose one who specializes in like past, you know, those who've passed on a medium of sorts. About five to 10 years ago, I had some family who unexpectedly passed. It's hard to get closure after an event like that occurs. And I've been thinking about it more this past year, you know, the year 2020, where it's been a crazy year, but also a year that we've seen so much loss because of the pandemic. It brought back, you know, just so many feelings and, and emotions and, and unanswered questions in me that I just, I really wanted to and do within this. a three month period of time, I lost my grandfather, lost my stepdad. You know, my stepdad was someone who raised me since I was five years old. I've always had my real dad in my life and, and everything, but he was also there as, as a, a father. You know, he had some medical problems, had surgery. We thought everything was taken care of. Everything was, all the rough parts were behind us. When someone dies unexpectedly and you don't get to say goodbye, it's, it leaves a certain hole inside of you, you know, because a certain piece that you never got the closure with your loved one. You never were able to put your soul at peace. And that's how it was always felt after my stepdad passed. So when the psychic told me, the first thing he told me that he felt from my stepdad was that my stepdad said not to call him stepdad, but to call him dad because he was my dad, I mean, that's when I knew, you know, I knew, I, I felt his presence there. I felt my stepdad was there because that's who he was. He was my dad. And and when he's not here anymore and not here for these moments that you wish he was, it's hard. He, he said, I always proud of the family that me and my sister have made and the kids and that he watches over us. Soon after my stepdad's passing, about a year and a year and a half later, my mom reconnected with my biological dad. And it caused some strife in the family. Actually, my sister, who, you know, was the daughter of between her and my stepdad, but also for me, with my mom reconnecting with my real dad, was that some kind of betrayal, maybe, to my stepdad? And and I felt guilt was always a looming question, you know, of how my stepdad felt about the path my mom took. He said he accepts it. He understands why she did, and he accepts the path that she took, and, and you know, and the reasons why, and, and he's okay. We don't know what a weight that felt being lifted off my chest I know that he was okay with it and and he just wants my mom to be happy it it was a sense of relief for sure and it definitely you know was a looming question on our, my mind for almost 10 years now so it, it brought peace it this did. was a journey but also it, it was so much reassurance and and gave me so much closure. I, I am so glad I had the opportunity to do it. If you're it. interested in having your own psychic reading, I highly suggest California Psychics. You can visit CaliforniaPsychics.com 24-7 service, 24-7 service. I told you I would put it off for a little bit because I wasn't so nervous to do it, but the minute I got the courage and decided to do it, bam! I had psychic right there for California me. Psychics just doesn't take any kind of psychic. They don't just take any psychic off the street. They have very high standards. Out of 100 psychics that apply, they only pick out two from every 100. So their quality and, and standards are very high. And I trusted them. I trusted my psychic. I felt a connection right there. So once again, you can visit CaliforniaPsychics.com. Use my promo code link down below and you know maybe have a great experience like i did it was it it really put my soul at peace it had